Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte and today we're going to be installing a carbon fiber front lip and a carbon fiber front bumper fangs on my BMW M4. Let's get it. All right, everyone. So as you can see right here on the ground, we have the front lip right in front of the M4. So this is the front lip that I got from Extreme Powerhouse. I will be linking it down below in case you are interested. It got shipped out super quick, and I appreciate the guys over there. Extreme Powerhouse is very active in the Beamer Post forms. So definitely if y'all need some BMW parts, definitely go check them out. So these are the fangs that I was referring to. So I think this is the right side. So this is kind of a test fit. So that's kind of what it's going to look like right there. I think that looks pretty good. And then the front lip, just going to kind of do like a little mini test fit here. So it's supposed to fit kind of like that. And I think that's going to look really good with those fangs on. And that's going to look finish out the look of the front end of this car. So now let's go ahead and get to it. All right, everyone. So I just want to give you all a little look right here. So as you see, we got the tape on the front lip here just to kind of give you a quick look on what it's going to look like and i'm really digging this look right now man so it really looks really really good on the front so that's kind of a side view right there so as y'all see in the top corner right there that's eric grand's tours car so he's helping me out today so definitely go follow his instagram i'll have it popping up down in the bottom of the screen right now but uh yeah man so that's the front lip and what it's going to look like so now we're going to go ahead and get to doing the install also what you want to do is if you can lift the car any kind of way, if you have like the little rolling ramps you can put, or if you have a jack, just jack up one side so you have enough space underneath the car. So now let's go ahead and get to the install. All right, everyone. So what we did was we put the, some tape over these notches right here, as you can kind of see, because this is where the existing screws in the bumper were. So when you put that tape up there and you push it against the bumper, the, the actual screw leaves a mark on the tape. So that gives us the indication where to drill the holes at. So I just drilled the holes right through each one of those spots there so now we can take the nuts right off of the front bumper here and then we'll be able to slide it through the front lip and back into the bumper so now we just got to find a point on this edge where we can drill into the bumper um and then we'll be good to go all right everyone so the bolts that i was talking about underneath are going to be right here so there's one right there there's another one right there another one right there and another one right over here so we're going to take those four bolts out and then we're going to be able to mount the uh front lip on with using those bolts then like i said we got to find a, two more spots on that side and then another side over here for the edges of the front lip i'm also going to be using 3m tape to also make sure it is, has a very secure fit so now at this point what you want to do is take some isopropyl alcohol and a rag clean underneath where you're going to be where this lip is going to be contacting the front bumper you want to clean underneath that wipe it down make sure everything's clean and good to go and then at that point we're going to be laying down on this front lip making sure it's good and then we're going to be applying the front lip to this bad boy right here so let's go ahead and get that done now all right everyone so as you can see here we have applied the 3m tape so i put three pieces right here so this piece right here right there and right there give me some good contact points that piece right there and then the same thing on the other side as you guys can see right there so now we're in the process we're ready for the install so that's what's coming next all right everyone so right now we got just the two screws the one the screw right here and that one screw right there in just so we can hold it in place I peeled the 3M tape halfway off. Now I just got to get underneath here and peel the rest of it off and then push it back um, against the bumper here. And then we should be good to go, man. So that's how it's looking right now. It's looking pretty good. All right, everyone. So today is a new day. So last night, um, towards the end of that video, last thing you saw me do was put on the front lip, as you can see right here. So the front lip is on and it is looking good. And also what I did was I did it off camera, um, but as you can see right there on the side, I did install the side skirts as well. Now these side skirts came right off my 435 and they fit perfectly on the M4 as well. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see. They fit perfectly. 
right on the M4. So, side skirts came from Keys Motorsports, front lip came from Extreme Powerhouse. I'll be linking them both down in the description below in case you want to check them out. But now is the last part. So, the last part is going to be the front bumper things, which are going to go right here. Um, some people call them front bumper lips or front you know, there's tons of different names for them i call them the fangs so we're gonna go with the carbon piece here so it's gonna go probably about like right that so y'all can kind of see how it's gonna look when it's on the vehicle but now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and clean this surface up put down some isopropyl alcohol make sure it's clean and make sure everything's good and then put some 3m tape on the inside of that and get it mounted right here so that's what i'm gonna do right now all right guys so as you can see right here here are the fangs so what i did was i put the 3m tape or close to the edge on both sides because i feel like that's going to be the best contact point um for these fangs now i will say as far as the fitment on these fangs they do fit pretty well there does seem to be a little bit extra like this spot this part right here it doesn't meet up perfectly with this edge it seems to be a little bit longer than it needs to be so that's the reason why i kind of stopped here um and then if I if I do have a little extra play here and I have another place I can bend this and kind of mount it, I will. But um, as far as the fitment, I say an 8 out of 10 because this part does seem a little bit longer than it needs to be. Um, once I get this mounted, if I can, like I said, if I can bend this up a little bit and then get it mounted, I will. If not, I'll just leave it because I think this tape that's on it is definitely enough to hold it in place. So let's go ahead and get the mounting this thing. All right, everyone. So the carbon fiber is on right there, as you can see. And then this is what it looks like when it's not on. So this is off and that is on, man. It's kind of, re it's really, really subtle. Um, but I think once I take pictures of the car, let me step back a little bit and you can kind of see, I think with this car being so dark, it is going to be a little bit tougher to see until you walk up on the car and you really see it. Um, but um, yeah, man, so it looks this, everything looks to fit pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and put on the other front fang. All right, everyone, so the other fang is installed there. So that's how it turned out there. And that's with the whole fang, the whole setup. Let me step back so y'all can just absorb this for new front end. And um, I think right now it's looking good, man, and the car is dirty. And it's still looking good, you know? So I think that's what's up, man. I'm really happy with the way everything turned out. Um, and now let's go ahead and get the car cleaned up a little bit. And let's go grab some photos and some cinematic footage. I hope y'all guys enjoy it.